stage three of race day and we are still at Le Mans. I will expect that everything will be at Le Mans. And here we're just supposed to get up to position four. Well, I'd like to do more than that if it's possible, but we will see what happens. So again, starting with no tires at all. And I don't think it's gonna be very hard to get to position four, but I will keep us tuned in at this speed until I do that. So I'm gonna take it a little bit easy. I'm not even sure if I wanna to try to take this corner full speed. In a lot of cars, you actually have to brake here. Well, it was just fine. You just need to take it nice. Now, if you wanna warm up your tires fast, you can actually skid around a lot, sit there and do donuts, but we're supposed to get up to fourth place, so better not be doing donuts. I was just seeing if it would slide out a little bit there if I move it back and forth. It wasn't. Now I'm going to brake a little bit early. Don't know how early I really have to brake, but we'll just try something out here. Well, you know what? I decided to brake late, and it was just fine. Let's get a push. Don't hit the brakes. Hey, he didn't hit the brakes. All right, that's what I want. Now he's driving like that's how a race car driver would actually drive. You don't hammer the brakes when someone gets in front of you. You push them because you want to pass them back. That's racing. And that's what we want to see when we're racing. Uh, that's fourth place already. Okay, well, obviously it's not very hard to get to fourth place. And there's a whole lap after this one. But I'll tell you what. After I get into fourth place, we're going to go into hyperdrive. Le Mans events can be extremely long. I'm not sure how long this one's going to be yet, but they can get really long. And I've already shown you breaking points and I've shown you cutting points. So there we go. I'm in the lead, pulling away nicely. Hyperdrive, baby. We'll just skip our way through all this. Again, we're going 16 times regular speed. If something really interesting happens, I can pull out of this, but... As you can see, there's not much to see. Pretty well, no other cars at all. Just a long drive. Now, that's okay if we got, let's see if we got paid for that. Fame wasn't that great, honestly. I would have expected more fame. Ah, the M dollars is okay. So we'll move forward. Oh, well, I've maxed out. Well, now I've got to decide if I want to keep going and waste my earnings or wait for another day. I'm going to move forward. I'm doing that for two reasons. One, I want to get you guys the videos as soon as I can. Two, I've got instant R&D and instant servicing, and it's Le Mans. So it's possible I'm gonna to need to service pretty well every single race coming up. So yeah, I'll shove forward. Well, let's buy another driver level. Just trying to make sure I get a good look at what's going on here and what the effects of this will be. Okay, that's in my head. Let's buy this. Really? That is a absolute microscopic improvement. A hundredth of a second better acceleration and a hundredth more grip. Huh. If it keeps going up by just that amount and the gold keeps going up a lot, then I'm not going to be doing that. I guess my choices are throw away M dollars to earn the car or spend gold and the effect of it is permanent but I get hardly anything for it. Well, this will be a trial run. We'll just see what this looks like at the end. Um, it's new. So I guess we just have to see where it goes, but boy, I wasn't expecting the improvements to be that microscopic. Like, you're not even going to feel a difference. A hundredth of a second more acceleration, you're not going to feel that. Okay. Well, we'll keep moving forward. Didn't do much for my PR either. So, there's Martinez. Again, I'm, I'm not going to be showing you guys these full races. This video would get ridiculously long because these are, you know, each lap gets, you know, I'm doing them in about three and a half minutes a lap, but these videos could get extremely long that way. So I'm just walking you through this, kind of briefly giving you the tour, 
and you can kind of see what I was doing. Okay, there we are gaining nicely on Martinez. You can tell that these guys are nowhere near optimizing this area. And he's one of the harder bots. Whoa, I definitely had to get into the brakes there because I clipped him badly. And there's Santos already. So, yeah, not very hard to get there. I'm braking at just when the, the blue and yellow shows up right there. That's where I'm braking. I gotta really tippy toe through this because of Santos being in my way. And that's about it. A whole nother lap of, I just have to get ahead of him. That's going to be extremely easy. Zippity, zippity, zip. And we'll slow down right at the end. I'm not even taking all of the cuts I could be taking. And still, you're gonna see it's a ridiculously huge lead. Obviously, Santos and Martinez had some sort of an issue because Santos is no longer the leader. Over a one kilometer lead, now you get a better shot at my braking point there. Kind of drive a straighter line through that. Yeah, not much trouble. Very easy stage and there was really nothing to see for the most part. Zip, zip, zip. All right, slow down so you can read some stuff here. The new stuff. Finish in first place, okay. Wait a second, I am in first place. And there's going to be two full laps after this. I don't understand why it would be hard to finish in first place. This is going to be another very long drive with not much to see. So we're gonna hyperdrive it. Little bit of lap traffic that makes for some interest at least you can get a little bit of a drafting feature there. However, it's lap traffic, so they're slow. Zip, 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 and I'll slow it down at the end here, which at this speed happens extremely soon. Still going four times speed. And again, I'm dumping all my earnings so I can get through this quicker for you guys. Hope you enjoy it. Gives you an idea of what's going on. More tuning is required. Well, let's see how much we have to do to get access to the next race. Obviously more than that. I'm not going to be adding all this up until the very end of the event. Then I'm going to show you exactly how much I spent. It's no use doing it all along. But I will definitely show you that as I get to the end. Each of these upgrades does very little to the PR, so you end up needing a lot. Oh, I'm sorry, they're not upgrades, they're tuning. There we go. Okay, well now I am allowed to enter the race. I really wish I could enter it with less than that because I really don't need it. Okay, this is a fuel saving race. Do not use tilt A controls or anything with an automatic accelerator. Sometimes they won't even give you the choice. However, if you do have a choice, use something with a manual accelerator so you can coast. And I'm not going to be showing you this whole race because it is a yawner of a race. But I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do here. See, I'm off the accelerator very early. I mean, my lead is already ridiculous. And we just have to finish in first place. So, finish first. Don't let your fuel run out. Yeah, very easy. All you need to do is just manage your fuel. So, lift early. If you know your braking points, lift early. Don't use automatic accelerator. That's the main thing I will emphasize. Take it easy for this first zero lap or partial lap. Take it easy for the next lap. And during the next lap, make sure you take a look at how much fuel you have at the start and how much fuel you have at the end. And that'll show you how much fun you can have on your last lap. So coming up here, I'm just gonna enter into the last chicane and looks like I'll have around 20. And I'm gonna get the pedal to the metal here in a bit. But let's just say 20. Okay, zip, zip, zip. And let's see what I get at the end of this one. 
going here really fast, but I'm going to cross with 11.3. Started with 20, so that means I only used 8.7. So I can drive this last lap harder if I want to, and I do because I want to get through it. Now let's pull out of this because I've got extra fuel. And let's do some donuts because I my lead is almost two kilometers. Just ridiculous. Burn up some gas, burn up some gas. I am not going to waste a lot of time, but that was a lot of boring driving. So I'm going to get in some donuts, have some fun. There we go. Still piles of fuel left over. Very easy stage. Nothing to worry about there. And I'm dumping my earnings. Not only will I give you a log of all the money that I've spent, I'll also give you a log of all the money I earned, including everything that I wasted, just so you know exactly how much I could have earned and how much I actually spent. I will include the bonus earnings, so you will get a very good picture of what this will cost at the end of it all. Again, I will not do it till the very end of stage five. Now, I lost my end screens here because I made a mistake and accidentally crashed the app. Thankfully, I didn't lose any currency, but there you go. Here's a couple of links. Stage 4 will be coming up soon.